Boom! Good morning guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to another video for, like always, our R32. If you guys are new to the channel, go down below, hit that subscribe button, and if you guys like this content, go smash that like button, I'd really appreciate it. But today guys, we have a bunch of stuff going on for the car. We went out and we actually purchased probably the largest amount of parts we are going to for this build currently. We got everything we're gonna need now to finish up the R32 and basically get everything, I'd say, ready for the show season, if the show season even comes in 2020. We'll have to see. But I figured we'd do this because right now, being in quarantine, um, there's not really much one going on. I figured we could actually go ahead and knock out a lot of the projects, um, get everything kind of finalized for once we get unquarantined, and go out and actually bring the car to shows, and I can start seeing you guys. So, gotta take a sip of my tea. And what we gotta do here is I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we got here for the R32. So, over here, we have all new brakes, all new rotors, pads, we have hubs, wheel bearings, everything we're gonna need basically to redo the braking suspension components, I guess, on the R32. Getting everything kind of finalized for the first part of our build. I wanna give a shout out one to ECS Tuning. Thank you guys for going ahead and sending over all these parts so quickly and efficiently. Definitely helps us get it, uh, the build underway. So without further ado guys, I'm actually gonna go ahead and kind of dive into some details here on everything that I bought so you guys can understand why we went ahead and purchased everything. Okay guys, so I kind of want to go over quickly all the stuff we actually purchased for the R32 so you guys actually understand what we bought and if you guys want to do the same kind of job, you can buy the exact same parts. So the first thing that we actually ended up buying, these rotors over here are in-house uh, special made ECS tuning rotors. There are two piece floating design rotor and I went with these because actually my old R32, I actually had the exact same rotor setup on my car. I really liked how they, one, performed on the car and how long they actually lasted. For that reason, that's why I went ahead and actually bought the same exact rotor set. I really love this, like I mentioned, ECS tune, they did a great job. Uh, basically, I guess, updating the rotor design from the OEM look. Plus also the nice drill and slotted design for it. Helps a little bit with cooling and ventilation of the rotors. So should be technically an upgrade from the OEM rotors. We also went ahead and bought some Hawk HPS pads. I've never had these pads before on an R32. Um, I know a decent amount of people do run these. So if you guys have any experience with them, I'd like to hear what your actual reaction and your experiences with these pads. And if you guys think they're worth it, love to hear it, throw it down in the comments section below. We also went ahead bought new hubs for the R32. So I believe this is a front hub right here. And basically what we are gonna be doing is this little screw hole right here. Basically it was been stripped out on every single hub on the R32. And I know this sounds probably crazy, but the reason why I want to get this new is because currently none of my rotors actually stay in place on the R32. Basically they all float around. And when I try to put the lugs through, it's a real pain. And I just kind of want to get rid of that while we're in there. Plus, I was also going to do the wheel bearings. So while I'm in there, I might as well replace the hubs. And then these are the wheel bearings. So these will also be replaced like I just mentioned. We also got some steel braided lines here, ECS tuning branded. So I've never, like I said, either put these in my R32. So this will be an interesting one. We'll have to see how this goes. We're going to have to bleed the whole entire brake line system, which that's why I went ahead and bought new brake fluid. So that should be good. Always rocking the OEM stuff. Might as well do that. And the last, last bit that I bought for this job, I bought a caliper stiffening kit. I would highly recommend going down below, hitting the link for Humble Mechanics uh, page. He has an install with this exact kit and how he actually went about doing it. I highly recommend checking that video out. He definitely can explain it way better than I can. So go check that video out. So there we go, guys. That's everything that we're gonna be doing, at least mostly on the brakes. We also have an oil change and some other stuff we're gonna be doing, but for right now, that's the main part we're gonna be working on. So let's go ahead, let's jump into it and let's start putting these brakes and doing this whole job on the R32. Okay guys, so as you can see now, 
we have actually finally removed the caliper. I have it sitting up here right now, but I will take this down. So we had to remove also the bracket off of here. So this bracket is actually what holds the caliper uh, basically on. And the reason why I couldn't get it off without removing at least that bracket was if you actually look here at the rotors on the side, it might be hard for you guys to see, but there's a nice lip going around the whole outside of this rotor on the inside and outside. Basically, the pads were biting into that lip. And because of that, it was really hard to get this rotor out, or this not rotor, I should say these, the brake caliper off. So now that this is actually off, I can now actually get at least the whole entire assembly off. I'll get the rotor off and we can get down to the hub to try to start getting on and replacing the hub and wheel bearings and everything like that on the car. So just wanted to give you guys that update just so you know what's holding on that bracket right there. There is an 18 millimeter bolt. And then we also have those guide pins, which we removed already that held the caliper actually to that bracket. So let's keep going on this guys. Okay guys, we are finally back. This is taking me forever to figure out how to get this front hub assembly off and out, but we finally figured it out. So I'll just kind of tell you guys and show you how I went about doing it. Um, I think there's gonna be an easier way to do it on the other side. So I'm gonna try that and let you know how that goes. But for right now, this is how I got this side out. So if you look down here, you can see the whole entire knuckle assembly I took out. So I took obviously out everything from the ball joints and basically just everything is now disconnected. The best part though, you can see right down here is the hub, but the hub itself is normally in here where the wheel bearings are. You can see the bearings in here spinning currently. So what I actually had to do was take this out, flip this part here upside down like that, and then I actually got an impact socket that was exactly the size of the back here. I think it was a 27 millimeter I got. And I put it on the back and I just started hammering at it with a uh, mallet. And once I did that, it was able to push itself through the wheel bearing and popped out. So that's just kind of a quick way how I went about it this way. As you can see, obviously everything's disconnected over here, which is not gonna be a real pain because when I get out again in alignment, this is gonna be fun to get actually aligned again. But like I said, at least this is all taken out. The hub is out. Now we have to go ahead and push the actual wheel bearing out. The wheel bearing will come out and then basically everything can go back together. Okay guys, we are back and it's currently a new day. Um, I only worked a couple hours yesterday on the R just to try to get everything out in the front. So I'll kind of show you exactly how it looks right now. If we go down here, you guys look right in here. You can see the hub is basically out. The bearings are out. Uh, everything else is though sitting in here where it needs to be. So next step is we basically now need to get the new bearing put in, the new hub put in, and then reassemble the whole entire brake assembly. Before we do that though, I'm gonna go ahead and clean, you can see over here, the caliper. So the calipers are really dirty. They have a lot of brake dust on it. I'm gonna go ahead and clean these up. And then once we're done cleaning these up, we're gonna get back over to the car and we're gonna start pressing in the, uh, hub and also the new bearing. So let's jump into this. Okay guys, so it is such a beautiful day out. We had to open the garage. At least we can sit outside-ish and work on the car. But to show you guys an update, we finally got the bearing pressed in and we have the lock ring in too. This ring is a pain to get in. There's um, a special tool where, let me grab it over here and show you guys exactly what tool it is. But right here, went to AutoZone, picked one of these up. Basically it's just like a, a plier that I have like a 90 degree angle on it, which basically allows you to get in there and really like torque down on this ring. The hardest part about it is this plier was actually too small originally to get over that like ring. I had to like file actually down the edges of this. And once I filed down the edges, I was able to get it and press it in. And that ring is in. The next step, now we gotta get the new hub on. Once the new hub is on, 
then we'll be able to actually get back and start putting the brakes on the front. So cue the time lapse, let's go. Okay guys, so it is beautiful out. I figured we'd just come outside and take a quick little break. Been uh, kind of working on this all day, but we have finally finished the driver's side front. So I'm gonna go in here and show you guys what we have done for the driver's side front. I think uh, it came out pretty good. And I think you guys are gonna like uh, ECS Tuning's uh, products that they actually have. As you guys can now see, everything is on the car. We have the rotors on, we have the calipers on, the new pads in we also have the steel braided line put in behind here the hubs are underneath um, and same thing with the wheel bearings are all placed in there too the last thing we're gonna have to do is once everything's done we're gonna have to place the car on the ground torque all of these uh, bolts here to spec which is around I think 184 foot-pounds so that's gonna be the last thing we do but currently this is what it's gonna look like for the front when it's complete I really like these rotors I don't know about you guys, but you guys will have to let me know what you think about them. And I'll also give a review on how I feel the ECS tuning um, two-piece floated rotors are. So you guys can all check them out. And if you like them, you can buy them too. We're going to just do, like I mentioned, this video is just going to be for the front side brake install for replacing the hubs, wheel bearings, and replacing all the braking on the car. So. I hope you guys actually enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, go down below, smash that like button, and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions about this uh, setup that I basically put on the car, throw a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to answer all your comments and any questions you guys have for this uh, build. So on that note, guys, we are going to end today. I'll talk to you guys in the next episode, and we'll do an update once we get the back uh, brakes completed. I'll see you guys later.